Hello everyone, today I would like to tell you about Mao Zedong and some interesting facts about Mao Zedong. Mao Zedong was an activist and a soldier and also the person who had a significant role in the establishment of uh, People's Republic of China. He was an ambitious, ambitious political genius. He took a courage um, to protect China from attacks of foreign invaders and tried to help an industrial and agricultural growth of China. He was born on 26 of December 1893 in small village Shaoshan in Hunan province. He described his father as a rich peasant. The family clearly had to work hard for a living. For your information, relationship with his father has evolved hard. From the early age, Mao was a voracious reader. He liked popular historical novels that connected to the rebellions. In 1980s, he was invited by his favorite teacher Yang Changchi to move to Beijing. He received a minor post at the Beijing University Library, where he was exposed to Ding Chen Tu Xiu and librarian Li Da Zhao. They later became as the founders of a Chinese Communist Party. While he was working there, Mao understood the revolutionary potential of the Chinese peasantry. He later became a follower of the Leninist ideas, where he believed farming peasants can help in communism in Asia. Mao didn't have a very good relation with the Chiang Kai-shi, who was the immediate in power after Sun Yat-sen and became a chairman in 1925, after his death. Chiang Kai-shi was very conservative by nature and Mao didn't like his ideologies. Mao's reforms were more liberal in the beginning. He launched 100 Flowers Campaign in 1956, which offered freedom of opinions and allowed others to express their thoughts. Unfortunately, his campaign didn't go very well and he had to face vast criticism from the urban people. He began to fear about losing power and control and immediately labeled thousands of Chinese rightists. Many of the Mao-inspired revolutions destroyed country's national heritage and created economic and social mass countrywide. Some of his critics also said that Mao created a false crisis that only he could solve. Despite having the courage to fight for his visions, many of his decisions went wrong and brought mass destruction. Mao and his ideas are still popular in China. Great hand! Every year China sold tens of millions of souvenirs with the face of Mao, which will not only apply within the country, but also actively exported to other countries. By the way, every Chinese student still carries a quote bad Mao. Hope that you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for your attention.